with Texas Governor Rick Perry in the first question this segment from Pam Bondi. Thank you. Governor, if a state continually fails its parents and children through inadequate education, does the federal government have an obligation to intervene on the education of these children? No. And here's the reason why. If you believe in the Tenth Amendment, if you believe that those people in that state are going to impact uh, the legislators, they will do that. And, and I think that is uh, a, a situation that we would not ever find ourselves in because by the time uh, a, a, a school failed, uh, the children or the, the, the parents would have intervened, the legislature would have intervened. Our problem is that we've got a federal government that's intervening too much it with all of these different programs. So I truly believe that the f education of our children is a state and a local issue and the federal government needs to okay. completely stay out of and, it. And, to, and in the essence of time, talking about the, all these programs, Governor, would you be willing to get rid of federal assistance for school lunch, Pell Grants, the GI Bills? Absolutely. I think there is a better way uh, to, to, to distribute those dollars. Uh, now, there may be some of those programs, whether it's the GI Bill uh, that we leave in place, uh, but the idea that the federal government needs to be taking as many billions of dollars as it takes from the state up to Washington, D.C., running it through the Department of Education, and then picking winners and losers, actually. I don't agree with that at all. So look at every program, but I do away with the Department of, of Education. I do away with it. I think that is a waste of time and a waste of money. The state's substantially better place to educate our children. Thank you. Governor, what does the term strict constructionist mean to you, and would that be the standard for your nominees to the Supreme Court? Yeah, an Alito and a Roberts are uh, the type of, uh, of, of jurist, a strict constructionist, not a legislator uh, in a robe. And, uh, you know, we, we have about uh, four of each of those right now on our Supreme Court. And, and, and that's the reason that I've called for, in my overhauling Washington, a uh, term for Supreme Court justices instead of these lifetime appointments. I mean, there's no accountability there. There's no check and balance. And I think if you put a term, now obviously that'd take a constitutional amendment, Governor, but I believe in it so much that that is what we need to do from the standpoint of making sure that we don't have these legislators uh, in robes that we have on that court today. The idea that, that they're telling us uh, how we can pray, the idea of whether they're telling us uh, that our kids can pray in school, the idea of they're telling us in Texas we can't have the Ten Commandments on our capital grounds. I mean, that's pretty offensive to me. And I think a lifetime appointment for folks that think that way might not be too good. Governor, have the judges you've advanced in Texas matched that model? Absolutely. I've put some great uh, justices. As a matter of fact, I've appointed six of the nine, I believe, on the, on the Texas Supreme Court. Now, they have to run for office, and we've had openings. Uh, okay. and, but those justices have been strict constructionists when it comes to making decisions. I'm quite proud of those uh, men and women. G Governor, what is most preferable to you? Overturning Roe versus Wade and attorney, uh, returning abortion laws to the states? or pass any human life amendment? Well, do both, actually, uh, because the, the fact is, until you get that uh, constitutional amendment passed, which is going to take some years, then the states, we have a parental consent uh, law in the state of Texas, parental notification. We passed a sonogram bill in the state of Texas this last time. So we have some protections uh, for our, our individuals. But until we pass that uh, life amendment to the United States Constitution, I want to protect life in the states. So I'm actually for both until we get the uh, constitutional amendment to uh, our, our U.S. Constitution passed. Governor, other than overseeing historically questionable union elections, is there really any reason that labor law has to be completely dominated by the federal government or can it be left to the states? I think you can leave it to, to, to the states as well. Listen, that's the same as the right to, uh, to work laws. I mean, I, I, if, if people in states want to put their businesses at a competitive disadvantage and make people join unions, that ought to be their call. So would you be ready you, to, except for the overseeing the union elections, would you be ready to, to completely get the federal government out of that business and leave it all to the states? Absolutely. Okay. We're in our final minute, and uh, Ken Cuccinelli. Yes, who's your favorite founding father and why? My fam fam I'm going to have to say uh, 
uh, Madison because he was just, I mean, the, the, uh, the, those Federalist Papers and, and the, the things that uh, uh, he put uh, together, I mean, just an incredibly brilliant, visionary individual. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, Governor. One final thing, you have a few <coughs> seconds left. You, we've all talked about strict constructionist. For the layman out there, just help them understand what exactly that means. Well, I, there, <laughs> it's right there. Excuse me, I took it out of my paper. <laughs> that, that's the Constitution. Read it, exactly what it says. That's what we're talking about. Don't read anything into it. Don't add to it. Don't use these different clauses, to, whether it's the Commerce Clause or uh, any of the other clauses, <laughs> to try to change what our founding fathers Thank were you. telling us. Thank you very much, Governor. It's great to have you here. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Thank God you bless you. very much. Governor Rick Perry. Thank you. And we'll also see Governor Perry at the end of the forum. You can uh, also post your thoughts about the forum at our wall at Facebook.com slash Huckabee Show. You can also tweet using the hashtag HuckForum. Coming up, Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, Texas.